Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Above all, it's my honor that I have a chance to give a presentation to you. My name is Sang So Jeon. I'm a master's degree student from Department of Robotics Engineering in DGIST in Korea. DGIST stands for Daegu-gyeongbuk Institute of Science and Technology. Today, I'm gonna introduce my graduate school, especially my lab to you. This presentation will provide you good information if you're interested in doing research in well-organized environment. My presentation will last for about 5 or 6 minutes, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me whenever you want. Then, let's get started. First, DGIST is located in the city of Daegu in Korea. DGIST is one of the research-oriented universities, including KAIST, GIST, POSTEC, and UNIST. And also, DGIST comprises DUP United campus in Korea, together with UNIST and POSTEC. All of DGIST members are making great efforts to make DGIST one of the number one research-oriented universities in the world. This is the whole view of DGIST campus. Isn't it great? DGIST has four specialized departments. They are Robotics Engineering, Brain Science, and Information and Communication Engineering, and last, Energy System Engineering. Each department is carrying out their own research, which is so special that any other universities do not deal with in Korea. To be specific about Robotics Engineering Department, it is focusing especially on not an usual robot, but a medical robot. That is, a robot which is utilized in medical procedures. It is also divided into four labs according to the specific research field. There is a Surgical Robotics Lab, MEMS Lab, Rehabilitation Lab, and Cybernetics Lab. Uh, you can get information about what they are doing by visiting their online website. And from now, I'm gonna talk about my lab. I belong to Surgical Robotics Lab. We are dealing with very interesting and practical research themes. First, Surgical Navigation. Surgical Navigation is a system which can help surgeon approach the target organ correctly or avoid important organ that is not target organ during surgery. It can be done by visualizing the accurate positions of surgical tools or patients on the display using some techniques such as augmented reality or virtual reality. Next, design of effective surgical manipulators. Nowadays, surgical tools for minimally invasive surgery are in need. Singapore surgery or NOTES, natural orifice transluminal endoscopic surgery, is carried out by using just a couple of holes in the patient's body in order that postoperative scars can be very small. We are also interested in developing active capture endoscope. Just swallowing the capture endoscope will enable doctor to observe the inside of the patient body without giving any pains to the patient. So interesting, isn't it? If you have any further questions about my lab or research, please contact me by email. With this, I will conclude my presentation. Thank you for your listening. 
and have a nice day. Bye.